on, we're on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, big smallie. Lake Ontario. Oh my god. There we go. Just made the trip right here. This is so sick. Surfboard in the parking lot of Burger King. Scram PA. Crazy. Mega rainstorm. Alright, got a little rainstorm coming through right now. Supposedly pretty severe, but just check the radar. We should be cutting straight through it, headed northwest. This storm's moving northeast. So we should be able to slice right through it, get out of this rain, and uh, step on the gas a little more. So we've made it to New York, guys. I'm all rigged up, had to come inside for an intro. With cold front pass through, it is still raining, um, although not as hard, and the air temp is 55 degrees. So we've cooled down about 20 degrees since we were fishing earlier. No more t-shirt. I threw on the Under Armour and another Under Armour sweatshirt. So we're gonna fish this spot for a little bit, then I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna crash for the night, and then we'll fish all day tomorrow. So right now we're just kind of scoping out what's going on before we have a full marathon day of fishing tomorrow. So without further ado, Let's get out there. Let's start fishing. There's a fish, that's a fish. Oh my God, what did I just get? Big something, dude. Oh, big smallie, dude. Epic smallie, what? What, dude? Was not expecting that at all. Oh my God, this thing's fighting like crazy. What, bro? What, dude? Oh, we gotta flip this guy, too. Dude, he's taking drag, he's dogging me, literally dogging me right now. Oh my God, he's literally dogging me. This is an absolute tank. Dude, out of nowhere, this guy just crushed it. Fat is small you've ever caught, which is not saying much. This is a nice smallmouth bass, bro. Flip him, flip him. Oh yeah, stud, stud, bro. Absolute stud, smallie. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, dude, that is epic. Epic smallie, what? There we go, guys. Absolutely epic smallie right there. This is definitely a two, th it's probably a three or four pound fish, I'm not gonna lie. That's a stud smallmouth bass right there, dude. On the bank of the river, crushed the spinner out of nowhere, dude. This guy fought like, this is definitely the hardest freshwater fish I've ever caught, so we'll send him back. Epic. All right, see you, bud. There he goes. Oh my God, just got smacked right there, dude. Come on now. Oh, we're on, we're on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy creamed it. What, dude? What? What? Oh my God, that freaking fish hit so hard. It's another smallie. Dude, that guy 
smoked it. Ready? What? Oh my god, let's go, dude. Not as big as the first one. Crushing the smallies out here, dude. Let's go. We are absolutely killing the smallies right now, guys. That is not as big as the one I didn't record earlier. This is maybe a two pound fish, but uh, third bite, it's been maybe 10 minutes. This is awesome. We'll send this one back. Bite is hot. Let's keep on fishing, baby. Woo hoo! Dude, that fish hit like an absolute freaking train. Reeling that spinner in, like, oh my God, it started pulling drag, hit harder than the first one, which was bigger. There is no fish that fight like these pound for pound. Come from a saltwater guy, that was absolutely crazy. Maybe a tog, that's, that's very similar to a tog right there. Absolutely awesome. Smallmouth bass fishing in the rain, one hour till sunset, drove up here. Epic sand, dude, epic. Well, we just jumped over the wall. Unfortunately, no one was home over there. The river is really, really high. So all the structure I saw last year when I was here is just completely gone. We had severe thunderstorms today over here. So, so we'll make a couple more casts over here, fish this little damn spot, and then we'll uh, head back to the car, start driving around and see what I can do before it gets dark. So just absolutely destroyed this Taco Bell right here. Pull it in to another random parking lot, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Some parking lot here, we drove another hour north. I'm pretty far from home now, but it's 8.30. I'm probably gonna watch the last episode of Squid Game. Then I'm gonna crash back here. Again, I'll give you guys a full tour of the car probably tomorrow morning, but uh, just drove. But just drove another hour north so that when I wake up, I can instantly start fishing some prime fishing spots. I spent about an hour on Google Maps in the Taco Bell parking lot. Hopefully looking to catch a salmon tomorrow. My last day here on the two day send. But uh, yeah guys, I will catch you in the morning. Gonna go catch some Z's on this air mattress setup and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Stay tuned. All right, good morning guys. We survived yet another night out here. So guys, just woke up at 7.30 now. I had a pretty good night's sleep. Only woke up a couple times in the middle of the night. But I'm in this abandoned state park parking lot. It got uh, it got pretty chilly last night, into the 40s. So we'll see how the fishing is today. I'm actually going to get out and get changed. Get out of yesterday's stinky clothes, brush my teeth, get ready for another epic day. 7.30, we'll probably fish to around 4 o'clock. So we got eight hours of fishing left today. I'm only five minutes from my fishing spot. That's kind of why I picked this spot right here on Lake Ontario, which is literally probably 30 feet that way. So I'm gonna get out, start the day right, start adventuring. Oh yeah, time for a quick little shower. Ooh. There we are, all cleaned up. Feeling pretty fresh. Let's brush our teeth, check out the the ocean, or I mean the lake, which is literally right there, and then we'll get sending. So here we are guys, on the shore of Lake Ontario here. It does not look like a lake at all, but that's actually a freshwater lake. It looks like a massive ocean, just non-stop white water for miles. Literally just walking on a beach here. I actually should have brought the surf when there's actually waves. That would have been sick. But here it is in all its glory. Lake Ontario. One of the five Great Lakes. Absolutely massive amount of water. Massive amount of fresh water in this lake. This is actually my first time ever being on the shores of Lake Ontario and my first ever trip to any of the Great Lakes. Super cool water is pretty cold, but just had to come check this out before we started fishing. So let's get back in the car. Five minute road trip to our first fishing destination of the day.
So guys, we are all set. We found this abandoned friggin' circle in the middle of nowhere. Public property. I wanna stress that. Everything I fish is public. No, no mark signs. We have a motorized vehicles prohibited sign over there, but that's just beyond this point. So I'm gonna walk down to the bank of the river now. There's no one out here parked here, which is what I like. There's another public access spot to this creek that there's people fishing at, but right now there was no one here. Tied on the spinner, bringing out the bigger setup. And let's get tight. So guys, made it to the bank of the river over here. The water's really high, really muddy, but I'm hoping if I just keep walking up far enough, eventually it'll get start getting cleaner. God, what? Never end the sand, baby. I just absolutely got murdered in that freaking, in the woods. Oh my God. Had to walk, had to walk through all that right there just to get to this stretch of river. It was either I had to walk through that or somehow swim across this right here and there's no way I'm swimming across that. So we still got about a mile more to walk up. We've, we've really walked nowhere. So I've got to take all these friggin' things off. Oh my God. They don't, they don't hurt, but there's a trillion of them on me. I'll probably spend the next couple hours taking these off. If you want to enjoy the woods, you got to become part of the woods, man. Seriously, just fully decked out in camouflage. So hopefully the salmon can see me less. It's real muddy over here. Water's real high, it's not the best conditions, but we're gonna make do, we're gonna keep trekking until the water hopefully gets better. Hopefully just catch something out here. Mid morning update. We are on the edge of some giant rock structure right here. It's only a uh, four foot drop, doesn't look that bad, but well, we gotta get up there somewhere. Well, folks, no love in this pool over here. Um, I've given it literally four hours out here. I've walked almost a mile, but I gave that pool probably two hours of my time. I threw up pretty much everything in my box looking for stuff. Up here, we're approaching a group of more anglers, so I'm pretty sure there's an entrance up here some, somehow. I'm gonna try to cross the river, get back out of here, and uh, we're gonna move on with the day. So, unfortunately, no salmon in this part, I think, a, I'm here way too late in the season. It's mid-October. The season normally ends around early October. That coupled with the fact that we just had a couple inches of rain yesterday, the CFS is way higher than normal, really made these rivers muddy and really brought those water levels up high.
Okay guys, GoPro died. We were hooked up though. It's been a long day. We finally got one. There he is, Mr. Salmon. There he is, right there. Heavy claim. All right, let's get him to shore. Hooked up, baby, let's go. All right, let's land this guy with two hands, then we'll get back on the camera. One eternity later. Oh, that is a video. Okay. All right. Here we go. So guys, driving back, help yourself apple farm on the side of the road. You should have seen the crazy U-turn I just did. Literally was going 65 that way and just busted a nasty U-turn in here. So check this out, dude. What? What, dude? I was like, so what are you selling there? She said apples. I was like, oh, all right, help yourself. Okay. $5, I brought freaking like $300 in here. All right. And pick any type I want. Jesus, look at this. We've got Empire Apples for days, Joan Gold, Ida Red, Golden Delicious. Combo. Oh, dude. Throw me in with this combo right now. This is dope. Fresh steamed grape juice. Unreal. Hello. Our, dude, what? As a Jersey kid right now, I'm literally tweaking. This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. What? Small bag, $3. Large bag, five bucks. This is unreal. What, dude? I'm psyching right now, this is crazy. So I swear to God, I just threw $5 in here. I, I would not steal apples from this place, but $5 for literally so many freaking apples right here. Getting the combo pack, of course. We got Golden Delicious and Empire in here. A whole pack, only $5. Again, he asked the lady, I did put money in there. But uh, yeah, I'm psyched. We gotta load up. I might go to, I might still go to Taco Bell, but literally, look at this. This is like freaking 20 pounds of apples. <laughs> this is awesome. Freaking apple posters over here too. This is why I love traveling, man. Oh, just made, just made the trip right here. This is so sick. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get on the road. This is dope. Thank you. Thanks, lady. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> Jones Apple Farm, everyone. If you're in the area, oh, there we go. Beautiful sight. Dude, best apples I've ever had. You can literally hear how crisp this is. Best apple I've ever had, oh my God. Crispiness, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. Final score, tough set. I stopped again. Couldn't pass up another opportunity to explore. Got my money on me, so. Oh, dude, this is freaking dope. All right, gourds, $4. Ooh, more gourds. Two for a dollar? Little ones, oh, dude. I'm, I don't even know which ones to pick. We're definitely going these guys, these are sick. All right, we'll do four for whatever amount of dollars oh, that is, I don't know. Please pay. All right, kale, $6. Looking for apples, don't know. Small business support though, absolutely. Got our gourds. Let's walk inside here, see what we got going on. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for more apples, but we're in a pretty empty greenhouse right now. Don't think there's anything for sale here. I think we're pretty much closed down now. Okay, I think we might just be getting the gourds. My car is gonna be completely filled with just random crap. But I think this is definitely a win. 
All right, this time we'll record me paying. Two for a dollar. Two dollars. Four gourds. I gotta put this friggin' money in there in one hand. One dollar. All right, two dollars in. Let's grab my gourds. Let's get back on the road. Day just keeps getting better. So on that note, that is gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. Absolutely just unreal day out there on the water. I got out there at 8.30, it's 4.45, like I just showed you. I walked a mile through high waters, cliffs, marsh, just wicked woods environment, all to catch, not even catch, all for the chance to catch one of these great king salmon they have up here in upstate New York. So final tally for the day, I hooked one salmon in the mouth of the spoon after about two hours of just trying nothing. Some guy gave me this weird fly fishing setup, but kind of what probably was a flossing setup because the guy that gave it to me was just slaying the fish. So I tried to use that. I wasn't doing anything. So I threw on the spoon for another hour, just cast, 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 salmon running up. At this point, the GoPro is long dead. My phone is barely hanging on. Then the salmon started pushing up more in waves and I was able to catch three salmon I hooked, including one that I actually recorded on the phone and thought I was gonna land for it because I hooked him perfectly clean in the mouth. Thought it was gonna be easy fight. And then as soon as I shut off the camera, he snapped off. So an hour after that, I was literally about to just call it a day and walk out of here. So as I'm walking up, getting ready to leave, this salmon pushes up right past me and me and this other angler are just chasing it down, literally battling over who's gonna hook this fish. I. I got so close to it, I was like, why am I even casting at it? So I just bent down, I picked it up with my hands, and this thing's just wriggling around. I handed the guy my phone, took a video with the rod in my mouth, 10 second video, but that, that was all it needed. Just had to describe what an absolutely ludicrous day it was. Then I ended up finding that apple stand. I mean, upstate New York is awesome, so get out there, guys, go on the sand. I still never gave you a tour of the air mattress setup back there, but we'll do that another time. Thanks for tuning into this sand, guys absolutely epic weekend i've got a five hour drive home school in the morning <sighs> unreal day never in the sand baby